so guys in this video we'll be talking about the api hashing technique so this technique is used to make uh, the static analysis static malware analysis a uh, little bit difficult uh, because a malware analyst can and do the static analysis like opening in the hex editor or running the strings on that uh, exe and find that this uh, exe is using the message box say or any other function so uh, he can deduce that uh, if the malware is connecting to the internet or it is using any uh, en encryption uh, functions to encrypt the all of the contents of the disk so uh, uh, these strings are very useful for the malware analyst to uh, identify what the uh, malware is doing. So in this uh, API hashing technique, we are going to convert this uh, uh, API function into this string. So this is simple uh, MD5 algorithm. You can uh, I have used this hash rib in Python to generate the uh, hexadecimal hash. So this is the message box here. Uh, and i have also uh, uh we are also using this get md5 function uh this uh, these two lines i have copied from stack overflow it's just taking the string and computing the hash so this will be the result uh, of this hash so let's uh, say get md5 of message box here and let's go and print this one we should get the same result and we can see the same result but in the uppercase now let's uh, remove this and uh, paste the hash here you can remove this comment as well now what we are going to do is we are going to uh, load this uh, dealer that is user that you do a dealer uh, you can also load any dealer so after loading the dealer we need to enumerate all of the exported functions of the dealer so after enumerating each of these function so let's say the first one acquire srw lock exclusive we need to get the md5 hash for this uh, function name and check that hash with this uh, original hash when it matches so that means uh, we need to use that function and we can use the uh, get proc address to uh, get the address of this function and in similar way we need to enumerate all of these uh, exported uh, function names and apply this md5 hash function on that uh, name to get the md5 hash and check that hash with this uh, our uh, function hash if that matches then that means we are going to use that function so okay so let's uh, uh, i have already created this function get uh, get function from hash so get function from hash and first one is we need to pass the dll name user 32.dll and second one is hash so it will load this user 32 dll and it will enumerate all of the exported functions and hash those function names and see whether that hash matches this hash given in this parameter and if it matches then that is the right function we need to use in our code so uh, we got the dll name and the original hash now let's go and get module handle of dll name so we will get the uh, dll base address so dll base address means uh, this starting one uh, uh, starting that uh, mz bytes okay uh, from here onwards we need to parse the uh, each and every uh, PE header uh, you can directly go and uh, skip to this uh, offset you can see the option header that export directory offset 170 uh, but it's good uh, to parse this uh, uh, PE uh, file so let's uh, 
parse this one marshall dot pointer to structure and dll base and type of uh, image dos header so dos header uh, we can print dos header dot magic So let's run this and we can see if you see mz we are good to go now let's remove this now we need to parse that uh, signature signature is equals to signature takes uh, four bytes and marshall dot uh, read uh, we can say copy from the source that is uh, dll base press dos header dot elfa new so this gives you the offset to the uh, starting address of that uh, uh, nt header that is p header so starting index 0 and destination signature and the length is 4 remove this one uh, signature now the signature uh, uh, by direct consists of this signature now we need to create a uh, entry header now entry header dot signature is equals to and this byte array we need to convert this into uh, integer Now next is we need to pass this file header marshall dot pointer to structure dll base plus dos header dot elfnu plus 4 4 is the signature size and then type of image file header So we are storing this in nt header dot file header. And the next one we need to parse is the optional header is equals to marshall dot pointer to structure dll base plus uh, dos header dot elfa new plus 4 that is signature and press 20 that is the size of file header and type of type of optional header. So copy this and paste here. So we have copied, uh, we have uh, uh, marshaled everything we need. So we need to uh, go to this uh, offset uh, export directory. So if you add the base address, press this address, you will be landed here.
and we can convert this to uh, image export directory dll base plus um, nt header dot optional header dot export table dot virtual address and the uh, type of export directory so copy or uh, we can say export So we are good to go now we have the export and we can print the number of sections export dot number of sections sorry number of functions and export dot number of names okay so now before we are going to enumerate these names we need to get the pointers for these one uh, address of functions this is called eat export address table and this is the ent export name table and this is the evod export ordinal table so let's get these uh, pointers dll base plus export dot address of uh, functions so this is evot pointer so uh, let's call this as uh, uh, eat pointer export address table so copy this and paste two times and change this to ent pointer and this one to evot pointer and also change this to address of uh, names name ordinals so now we have three pointers pointing to this array and this array and this array so let's go and uh, uh, enumerate these names for i int i is equals to 0 i less than export dot number of names so export dot number of names so if you go to this uh, address of names and you can see if you read uh, 4 bytes 9 to c57 so if you go to this 9 to c57 that is the uh, uh, first function name so marshall dot pointer to string and c and ent pointer a plus i into 4 or we can uh, uh, let's read first function so this is the function name and at rush we are going to increment this ent pointer by 4 and we can print the function name okay sorry uh, dealer base plus ent pointer so let's change this to an offset
sorry uh, we need to read those bytes so uh, forgot that step marshall dot read int 32 of ent pointer now this is the offset so int offset or uh, let's say name offset now pointer to string and c and dll base press name offset now string function name now we should get the all the function names and you can see we got all the function names uh, now we are going to uh, apply that md5 function to get the md5 hash for this function name So if I get md5 of function name dot to lower is equals to is equals to the hash uh, so original hash then we are going to print out this function. So function found for the hash so the first one is original hash and this function name so let's uh, run this and we should get message box here so here we can see function found for the hash message box here now we can simply uh, say get proc address dealer base comma function name now we can actually return this one directory so we are uh, getting the address of this function and returning here so this will be saved in the uh, this func variable now i have already declared a delegate that is exact matching of uh, that signature is exact matching of the message box here now we need to get the delegate uh, marshall dot get delegate for a function pointer so here we need to pass the function address that is func which we have got from this function and the type of message so message is the name of the delegate i have declared and we can say message m is equals to message now we can call this one end pointer dot zero uh, testing one two three uh, hash api comma zero for normal message box so let's build this and uh, we can run this one and we can see we got uh, we executed the message box here uh, without actually calling the message box here so with this uh, uh, hash we have found the actual function uh, you you can also use directly the uh, index of this one so if you found at this ith index you can go to this one address of name address and read two bytes from there and at that index of this address of functions you will find that address so you can uh, do that as well but just for demonstration purpose i have shown the get proc address so this uh, works for uh, any of the function you can uh, hash so you can just change this uh, dll and the uh, the hash and you can get the uh, function address